Hello and welcome. So last time I was testing out deploying uh, Headscale to fly.io and you can see that on the article that I put on, on my site and um, you will find all the configuration files and everything that I use at that moment. But I was wondering like what will happen in case of, uh, you know, like a crash or something that happened that makes data loss, you know, uh, it's always good to have a, a backup strategy. So I was thinking like, okay, how we can test this out and what will require me to, to, to change or to introduce to the setup so I can make it uh, more reliable. So I was, uh, since I was using a SQLite database for Headscale, it was an immediate uh, decision to say, well, maybe we can go with Lightstream, uh, which is um, a backup solution for your SQLite databases that stream the the modifications to, to those databases to whatever kind of uh, storage or replication functionality you wanted to do uh, or you wanted to use and you can have multiple setups. So I was thinking like, okay, what about we don't use like S3 compatible um, uh, storage for that. And even if you go to the get started documentation on Lightstream, it says, oh, you can use uh, on your local testing, uh, you can use mine IO or Minio, or I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, so what I'd like to do today is, uh, and what I was just testing out, is setting up mine uh, Minio locally, create a little stream, uh, light stream configuration for the S3 replication. So we're going to, since the S3 compatible, we're going to replicate that at Lightstream and its configuration to the container image and then testing this out, like what will happen, how it works uh, and things like that. So um, just to get started, um, and you can see that it's similar to the previous um, uh, video, I have a head scale configuration that points, in this case, since I'm going to be testing this locally, just not to mess things up with the fly setup that I have, uh, I set it up this to be on my uh, local network uh, that I used pre on previous videos to test out the, the VMs connecting to this head scale setup. So here I just adjusted the data path uh, to be something easier instead of in the bar lib directory. Uh, I just put it, those things um, closer to the root and then um, no other changes here, of course. And then I created a light stream uh, configuration file that basically says like for that, uh, database path that I, I was having on the head scale configuration. I'm going to have a replica. It's going to be named S3 replica and it's going to have uh, a bucket, an endpoint to connect to, uh, a region to use, an access key and a secret access key. For those who are not familiar with S3, um, normally you will not need the, the S3 endpoint, but you will need the bucket, the region, the access key and the secret access key in order to be able to connect. But since I'm using a compatible uh, S3 um, storage, you need to give an endpoint that is not an AWS uh, endpoint, right? So I set this configuration file and then uh, on the Docker file, I um, copy the binary for light, uh, Lightstream into uh, the image and making sure that I validated the SHA-256 and then I uh, make sure that it's like a smoke testing that confirms that it's working and copy the configuration file into the image. And this is a, it's going to look into uh, the etc directory lightstream.yaml file. And uh, an additional thing that I did is create this container entry point script uh, in case that I wanted to do other kind of things. So right now what I'm doing is just, um, executing this uh, Lightstream replicate, which is going to say like grab the database from, from a point and then exec this uh, head scale serve um, comment. So basically it's chaining. Uh, this is going to be the parent process and it's going to execute this as a child process of that. And what's going to allow is that every time that it, uh, Lightstream detects a change done by head scale, is going to replicate that information into that S3 bucket, right? And uh, one thing that I did here for testing, I have my health head skill service on my compose file, but this depends now on Minio. 
uh, and I introduced some environment variables. Of course, this is like hacking things out just to uh, test things locally, right? So I set up a Minio service that uh, has its own data directory and it's mounting or publishing those into port uh, 9000 in order to, for me to be able to um, connect that to S3 clients and things like that and take a look to the data, set it up a region. Uh, in this case, since I'm testing, I'm going to just call it home. Uh, a username and a password for the credentials. Uh, since this is testing, I, I'm not going to do a bunch of uh, security uh, things here, etc. Well, nothing, nothing weird on this setup, right? So, uh, okay, let's go. So I'm just going to build the um, container image with those configuration files that I already have in place with that entry point that I created. And uh, since this is the first time I'm, I'm booting, booting up, I, what I will need to do is actually create that bucket in order for the configuration. So in order for Lidstream to send uh, backups, right? So what I will do, we'll do compose app uh, minio. Uh, this is going to be, of course, pull it because I didn't have it locally. Okay. And uh, that's running. So if I go, so minio is this multi-cloud object storage. Uh, I'm going to go to my uh, local one uh, for that, which is this, uh, I need to log in and I'm going to use this uh, admin uh, change me credentials that I use it for testing, right? And you can see I have no bucket. So I'm going to create a bucket. And uh, if I go to my configuration file, I gave the bucket name is home lab, right? So I'm just going to call here uh, home lab. Okay, create a bucket. Cool. Okay, I have my bucket it has no ob objects, nothing inside. It's empty. Okay, so now that I have my bucket running, uh, that I will boot up uh, my home scale setup. And you will notice it here, starting head scale is in live stream. That's the echo that I added to the entry point. It says that initialize a new database, uh, replicating to that S3 replica that I mentioned with the bucket region, the entry point that I, I mentioned it, and there is like a synchronization interval of one second. Then it does a regular boot up of a head scale, it says there's no private key because this is a fresh start, we didn't have anything, and uh, created the private files, blah, 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 all those kind of things. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go inside the container exec on the head scale container. I'm just going to get a, a shell on it. And I'm going to do head scale users list. It's empty. And you can see here the, the logging of head scale itself. I'm going to create my home lab user. Okay, I created that home lab user. And now if I go here to the Minio console, I will see that automatically created a series of files and uh, there's more details of that on the live stream configuration, what each directory means and things like that. But it has the snapshots uh, and then it has the wall, which is uh, right ahead log for all those uh, things that were happening with all the bytes uh, that those uh, pages uh, took, right? So if I do a list of users, I have my user, my home lab user there, great. And of course, if I added notes and things like that, this will be working. So what I'm going to try to do next is, okay, this is going to reboot. For some reason, I'm just going to shut it down. Shut it down, boom, done. It's not running. So what I'm going to try to do now is boot, boot that up again, of course. And what's going to happen is uh, nothing because what I have here on my entry point is like, it's just execute and replicate whatever. But what will happen if I remove the database? If I remove the database from the system, it will not have anything. So we'll, I will list my volumes and I have the head scale volume here. I'm going to docker volume, remove that. Okay, I remove it. 
but I, I need to have here a way to restore the database. So I added this and I will explain what is this uh, things. So first things like I indicated like do let stream restore. This parameter here says like if there's no database existing because uh, it will check if the database exists. If the database exists, it's not going to try to do anything. If a replica exists for that database, it's going to try to restore it. So if the database existed, say I didn't remove the container and I restart it and the database exists, it will fail. So this parameter is here to, uh, to say like, oh, okay, there's a database already there, don't do nothing. The second comment, it says, if there's actually replica information there for you to uh, restore from. And then here is the path of the database that was defined in a configuration. So if I run this, uh, first I will need to do a compose build just so I can get the new script into the container image and I do a compose up. First it will try to restore the database because the detector that was missing and uh, you see here restoring the snapshots, restoring the wall files, uh, uh, the right ahead, blah blah blah, rename it the database and then it started little stream light stream sorry I cannot pronounce correctly but if I go inside of here and I do head scale uh, users list I see my user there it's not gone is there so it means that if I um, get it's lost my server that is running this or whatever it's going to uh, be able to restore that information from uh, from this S3 replication, right? Um, but that it's only replicating or storing there the uh, the data that on my SQLite database is not storing any of the other files that I would potentially could put in that um, volume using on fly, right? So I will need to figure out other other things to make sure that this is a reliable uh, setup. That even if I turn uh, the machine off or like there's like I don't know like someone goes with a big magnet uh, to the, uh, the data center that uh, flies running the server or whatever I can I can deploy this somewhere else or I can deploy this into another region of fly and it will restore the data now this is only of course a single node it has no multiple nodes a little a light stream has some um, uh, limitations in relation to that and uh, of course it's it's thought about like a single node kind of uh, approach and there's like of course new things that you could do uh, to work with uh, like uh, multiple node replication but goes beyond uh, my simple testing again this is for a home lab setup nothing else right so uh, if I didn't have these things here nothing will happen like it will uh, if if I remove this and the database exists, it will fail. If I remove this uh, and there is no data in the S3 bucket, it will fail. So these are kind of like the options to do like, okay, when it's booting up, try to, if there's a local database, try to restore it first. And uh, if there's no data to restore, don't do nothing, don't fail. And then it will just, uh, uh, trigger or launch the head scale server uh, with replication running on top of that. And that's it. So it's quite, uh, quite straightforward, to be honest. It's, uh, it's very easy. Now, what you see here on my compose file, this environment files that I have here, what I can do is just put those into the fly secrets configuration when I'm deploying it. So I don't need to have uh, those things hard coded in my configuration file especially because the light stream can read uh, environment variables. So you can configure this where I can configure multiple replicas with different environment variables if I needed to and things like that. So it's quite cool that I can um, read this from the environment. That makes things more easy that I don't need to hard code anything, especially credentials in a configuration file. So it's quite, uh, quite interesting. Uh, what I was thinking is like, okay, does it resist crashes? 
right? So if I terminate this and start and it, it, it does start again. So what I will do here is just do docker kill, um, let's list the containers. I have here my head scale container. I will just do docker kill my head scale container. Boom, it's gone. Here it says exited with uh, 137 uh, errors. So it just crashes. I'm just going to stop everything and then boot it up again. It says database already exists, skipping. It didn't do anything and then continues to do the li light stream, sorry. Uh, if I remove the volume as I was showing before, it works, cool. So things that I would like to do uh, next on this, and I put those as a homework, uh, I would like to do uh, managing the whole configuration using secrets because before on my head scale configuration, I have a base domain. Uh, of course, this is the name server, so I just wanted to make it very generic. But then I also have the server URL that I need to define every time, right? Um, so what I was thinking, I set it up a template for this, which is a head scale uh, template YAML on my, on my repository. And then I can just use uh, uh, environment substitutions uh, to uh, read that file, uh, read environment variables files, and then create that file maybe when the container is booting up. So maybe I can check if that file doesn't exist. Yeah, right. I, I can check if that file doesn't exist. It's going to uh, get those environment variables and then pipe that um, configuration file um, and generate it from there, right? Uh, and then it can boot up uh, the same way. Uh, for in the case on the light stream, uh, the configuration itself doesn't have anything that's hard coded. So it's great. I can use that way. Um, but there's one part on head scale additionally, which is the private keys and the noise private key that I took a look to what are the contents of those files, right? Um, when you take a look to that private key is a simple uh, key says private key and you do the noise one is like that. So I was imagining maybe uh, this contents could be in a secrets uh, that you pass to the environment when you're passing, when you're setting things up for fly. So maybe I will do that next. I don't know, uh, just to make it more easy and perhaps we'll make uh, the repository where I'm doing this, uh, we'll make it that public. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, but this was kind of like a, an exercise of doing a quick research, uh, what I can do, how I can use it, read the documentation, do a crash test, see how, how it works, what fails, and then record this uh, without cuts, without edits. So let me know if uh, uh, this format is good, you like it, you don't, whatever, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Bye-bye.